What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another Arsenal Evo RTG. Today we are going to have our champs rewards. I've got lots of games to play and not a lot of time to play them, but we've also got an insane amount of high level fodder packs, including an 84 by 10, 83 by 10s, an 86 by 2 that we're going to start with and some other good packs and uh, obviously anything that we get as a dupe will go into the exchange, but hopefully we can pack some of these new Golazo cards we are starting with an 88 double walkout, which is amazing from this pack. And the player in behind is going to be... I don't even know who that is. Oh, Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. So that's already a great 88 and 89 for the exchange. Don't mind that at all. What we'll do is uh, we'll open the, the packs in order and Viper will cut out any of the absolute trash that you get, because you guys don't want to see that, obviously. Uh, we get ourselves an 88 or black double walkout here with 89 Rodri. I mean, the exchange is great for this. Go on, give us a Galazzo in here. Oh, R. Cantona said, oh, R. Cantona actually is Dimitar. We get an 89 Golazo Berbatov. It's the 83s and 84s that's going to be a problem because I'm going to have to keep going in and out to get them into the uh, Team of the Week upgrade. But we've packed one Golazo player already. That's going to be a Martin Erdegaard from this. Double walkout again. No, okay. That's okay. Ooh, inform though. Inform Yaremchuk. 85 in there as well. No dupes, which is great. 85 by 2. Brazil. Liverpool this time, please. Yes, please. Double walkout. No, it's not. Hey, that's another 89 for the exchange. The exchange is in a good place right now, that's for sure. Oh, I finished uh, Van Persie. Looking at an 89 Van Persie would be better. My hair is quite clearly, quite evidently brown. Ooh, Erdegaard. 87, lovely. Like, it's, it's just so harsh on all of the other players. Especially, let's ban that Dan Smith on YouTube mods, thanks. Especially, like, the fact that, you know, Calvin Phillips has been stealing people's game time for England as well for God knows how long. Like, 2 by 5 is coming in hot. Oh, look at that. That's a banger of a pack, isn't it? It didn't even walk out. Isn't he the good one? Nope, he's 30k. Brilliant. I thought it was the uh, the premium one. I might have to use him with Poyol, though. Him and Poyol is going to be my new centre-back pairing for the next few games. Mate, he's actually got mad stats. Five of the six defensive play styles. Relentless, long ball pass. Our shot, but we don't care about that. Shadow chem style on him. Oof. Tasty. Tasty little card over Kane. Well, Kane's injured. Or was injured so like if you listen to when i first started talking about palmer i said i think he deserves to be there that doesn't necessarily mean he deserves to start or not start oh hezeberg love that i just think cole palmer deserves to be in the squad getting minutes getting game time got here who's joe double walkout Modric, Karchawi, Varane. Oof, two more 84s in the bin. Got the 83 by 10s and 84 by 10. Right, this is where we're going to get dupe central, but this is also where we've got the chance of hitting the Golazo cards, right? Bernardo Silva, beautiful. Double me. No, it didn't. It might if it's one of the Golazo cards, right? Didn't. Right, Bernardo Silva into the exchange. Send it back. Liverpool. Ah. At least it could be a double walkout, though. If it's a... Uh, it is a double walkout. Feels pain to throw away an 85 when I could get seven players for it, but... Did you see Saliba is out with ACL, bro? Pretty sure you just made that up. Image. Nope. Oberdorf. Double walkout, though. 89 Ter Stegen Jube. Love that. 83 by 10, number four, the final one. France. It's Benzema. No, it's Nkunku. Brilliant. Thanks for nothing, EA. Donnarumma, Gundawan in there as well. No dupes in that pack. That's unbelievable. And an 84 by 10. Come on. Give me a big Golazo card. 
It's going to be a walkout. Danny Parejo. The double. I want Galazzo icon, please, EA. Cole Campbell would be preferred. The double walkout is going to be... Angolo, Angolo, Kante. And in the pack is going to be... 89 Francesco Lee. Well, it's better to have him than to not. Kante and Bono. And go into the exchange. All right, guys. So after those packs right there, this is the team we're going to be playing. We've got the 89 Van Persie in this one. I know it doesn't make sense that he'll he's going to ever be better than the 91, but we've completed him, so we've claimed him. We'll use him. We've got the two brand-new centre-backs as well by way of Carlos Puyol and Collier. I'm actually quite excited to see how these centre-backs perform, hopefully very, very well. And we've got Kai Havertz back in the team now because we're just going to be working on getting him fully evoed to the five-star, five-star with all of the extra bonus bits on him. So this is the squad. Let's play some games. All right, guys, as we go into the gameplay for today's champs games, I was going to try and get full champs rewards for today, but it would have been too many games for me to sort out for one video. Uh, so we are going to play. I don't, I don't know how many games we're playing today, but we're playing some games today. And of course, we packed that collar. We popped him into the team and I haven't even got the premium version and I haven't even got this version upgraded. And I can tell you guys with some confidence, he was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. What's interesting for me regarding him as well is that I, I don't think that, you know, there's only a couple more days on that heroic Evo thing to go. Um, of all the players that I've seen, played with, we've got... There's two options for us to upgrade. One of them is Peter Crouch. The other one is Collar. Now... I do want to complete the SBC Marquez and maybe put him into it. But Collar is very, very, very good. And Crouch is also very good. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn between who I want to put in there. However, uh, as you enjoy the gameplay, let's get some uh, comments. Uh, the first one is from Chris F 22 He says, please don't restart Gabriel Jesus. There is a bug that's been in the game for weeks. You won't be able to use him if you discard his Evo. I haven't been able to use Nketiah or Hurtig in another Evo for a while after I reset them. There's a forum post with 50 pages of people with the same issue. And yeah, so I talked about it on stream as well. Like, oh, should I restart him and stuff? People are like, don't do it. I, I thought because I didn't have the issue with Ben White to get him into the Evo that a lot of people did have. Um, and I thought that there was like something else at play that was causing it. But it turns out whether or not you put a player into an SBC or if you discard the player, the fix that EA did to fix the um, bug of non-evolution players, non-in-evo players and things like that has caused a different bug with regards to this. Hopefully they can fix that. But yeah, it does mean that I can't restart Gabriel Jesus, which also therefore means that Black Stenius is going to become our next Evo option. Which, do you know what? I'm absolutely okay with. It makes her very, very good, especially with an engine or a catalyst chem style. She'll have great pace, perfect shooting, finesse shot plus, four star, four star, rapid, uh, sorry, quick step plus as well, which is banging. And I think she could actually be uh, a very, very, very good card for the team. Um, the second comment is also from uh, ED. He says, don't risk it with Jesus. I did a Martinelli Evo in November. Admitted him into Gabby's winter wildcard SBC. Got the same message when trying to do this Evo with the new gold Martinelli. So it's tough. Uh, yeah, not can be. There's RVP is 75k lol. He's actually now under 70k. Fortunately enough, I managed to sell him, but like, you know, I bought him for 150. Sniped him for 150, actually, fair to say. Uh, sold him for 110, so I did sell him in reasonable enough time before he completely crashed. Uh, I bought Prince for 88k. She won't even sell for 80k now. Um, it's not the end of the world losing a few coins here and there. You know, coins are reasonably easy to make in this game by the hundreds of thousands, but really hard to make by the millions. Um, and so uh, it's not the end of the world. I don't mind it too much. And uh, Chris, again, oh, two top comments, Chris. Let's go. Uh, says, uh, Emily Fox finally has an Arsenal card. You can fit into the both the RB and LB Evo if you've not done already, although she's still a terrible 91 after. Yeah, I've already uh, put Tommy Asu into one of those, so I couldn't do it. Uh, and I will be putting Cedric into the other one anyway. Um, Dan Stevens says, Italian Cam. Is it Francesco Lee, the Uruguayan? Nope, it's the Nigerian Cam Akocha. Lol. I could, I swear... I swear it was the Italian badge that came up, but I guess it wasn't. Um, I guess it wasn't. Uh, more more comments there about um, the discarded Evo. Wait, somebody said I did a gritty rage quit. Oh, no, yeah, so somebody on me. Yeah, the guy griddied at 1-1 in foot champs, 
and then caused it and quit at 1-1. He was a stream sniper. Um, but this weekend league, I, like I only played to, I'm going to ruin it, right? Right, I'm going to ruin it. You'll see in tomorrow's video anyway, but I'm going to ruin it. I only played to 11 wins, right? I, it was a it was a big weekend because of the Easter weekend. We had lots of family around, spent lots of time with the kids. Just didn't really play FIFA much beyond what I absolutely had to do for work. Sunday was obviously Easter Sunday. We had a uh, barbecue, watched the uh, watched the football across the day. Had a few uh, had a few bevies, so couldn't you know couldn't really play FC Twenty Four. Otherwise, I probably would have got six wins if I was lucky. And so Monday didn't have much time left uh, to get the games in, and so uh, I ended up just going to eleven wins. With that being said, this was one of those weekends where I like I had one person quit at nil nil, maybe two, I can't remember, but I think it was one. I had. Four people either pull it back to a draw and then quit, or when I equalized, they quit. I just don't understand. Like that guy that in the last video that got it to 1 1, griddied and then quit. What are you doing? Why? Why, when you're 1 0 down and happy to actually accept the loss anyway, because when you quit, you lose? Why would you then spend the rest of the game trying to get back to a draw just to stop me from getting a win? It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, uh, then Jaffor Gar says, Nick spending five minutes talking about FIFA points and store packs, then saying, oh, oh, I'm not telling you to buy them. We know what you're doing. Well, first of all, I'm not Nick. Uh, so you don't really know what you're doing, do you? Second of all, there, there's a difference being, being able to be able to understand a value in something that costs money in spite of the fact that you don't need to buy it uh b understanding that people will spend what they want on entertainment in spite of a content creator telling them to or not and c uh being able to encourage people in spite of good value in something that still has no real meaning in life to encourage them to not actually spend the money when you say we know what you're doing you realize you have a coin sponsor right you realize like ea haven't worked with me officially since about 2015. Uh, won't recognize me in any unofficial manner either. Uh, and even if I was pumping FIFA points, I don't get a share of them. I don't gain anything from saying like FIFA point packs or the store packs actually have had reasonable value. I don't gain anything from it. I don't like other than the, the packs channel where we do share plays every day for the 6 p.m. Uh, content that comes, I don't have. I don't sit there and spam hundred thousand dollars a year on FIFA points. I don't spend. I spend some money on FIFA points, but I don't really spend money on FIFA points at all. And so I'm not quite sure if you do know what I'm doing because you're trying to find malice and you're trying to find something disingenuous in something that was just quite simply a conversation. Um, so stop looking for things that aren't there, brother. You'll, you'll, you'll lead a much happier life. Uh, Thierry, the go on re says, do inform and Ketia into club 99, then Jack of all trades. He ends up going, he goes crazy. Couldn't snipe him. Unfortunately, wait, is inform and Ketia. So I've got inform and Ketia. I've got club 99 and I've got, uh, now Elise, sorry, I'm just looking on at foot.gg and Elise seemingly has an ability to get 299 stats doesn't he and i don't know what the uh what it is i know we can get five star five star 99 um i don't know what evolution path it is that gets Olise to 299 uh, stats but does eddie and ketia fit into jack of all trades first and then into the 99 shooting um, let me, uh, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just going to have a quick look. Club 99 shooting, jack of all trades, only uses selected evos, apply filters. Oh, he does. Well, that's interesting, is it? Because that is actually a very good card. And I was looking for something to do for jack of all trades. But then I'm going to miss out on Black Stenius. But that Eddie and Ketia, he's, the, the thing is, he's got 88 sprint speed. 95 acceleration, 80 composure. He's obviously got great shooting. I, I would then lose the Eddie Nketiah that has power shot plus, and I really like that one. But it is quite a nice Eddie Nketiah when after an engine gets applied, he's got great pace, great dribbling, 
great shooting, very good physicals, very good play styles, and 93 short passing. Do you know what? You may well have just convinced me to put Eddie and Ketty as in form in there. I didn't realize that his in form was now extinct to 75k. I've had one in my club for ages. The Eddie and Ketty that I have also already got is good, but yeah. I think I'm going to do that. You you have convinced me. You have convinced me. Um, Theo Walcott. They have all the Arsenal players in chat today. Says, I've just come back to playing FIFA and I'm noticing my opponents when they're dribbling at full sprint. It's like they're force field when I struggle to get near them. Are they holding down L1 while they dribble? What is it? It's R1, actually. What they hold down is called the technical dribble or whatever, whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and then uh, I think it depends on what cards you already have in your club and whether they're available for the Jack All Trades Evolution. Love from Italy. Thanks very much. Sometimes shows a difference in play style. I'm absolutely loving Van Persie, but can't stand Peter Crouch. Good to see the RTG get better. Yeah, um, it, it's funny, actually, because like I've, I've enjoyed this team uh, the last couple of weeks, but and I don't have much time to talk about it. But uh, hilariously, because of the Galazzo promo and the power curve being pushed again, this team is now, even though it's full of 90s, we like some good cards. This team has actually dropped off a little bit and I'm struggling with it again uh, now after having a cracking weekend last weekend. But that is going to be the end of the gameplay, guys. Let's get into some packs. I was just like, you know, I was just curious. I was just asking. Go on. Love it off. To the exchange. To the exchange. Hey, listen. We'll take an 88 and an 89. For the exchange. Wasn't sorry. Oh, look at that. Somebody. Stop me. And an eight, I'm telling you guys, the triple eighty, the triple eighty might even be better than the eighty-one player pick, which I am going to do some of the eighty-one player picks in a Uno memento or favor. All right, fifteen, eighty-one plus rare gold player picks. Here we go. I've got a feeling we're going to hit a big card. I have, like, like a monster card. I don't know why. It just, it just feels like it. I'll take, oh, nah, nah. What's my name? All right, EA, come on, man. Mate, listen, save it to the last pick. That, that, that would be fun. Take an 85 daily. 87 Lucy Bronze. We don't mind those walkouts. 84 Diego Silva. Here you go. 82 Jolene. 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 Mini Minter. I'm not hitting a big card, am I? Just getting crap. Oh, an informed Brooks is okay. IMO 80 plus triples are way better. Yeah, that was bad, bad. Holy crap. So, on the Arsenal Evo RTG. Man, this video is going to be all over the place, I've got a feeling. We've got Champs Rewards to come yet as well for the video. Oh, I sold something. I must have sold Prince. Um, I've got the 100 players pack, which I'm going to go for first. Because this is, by and large, a terrible pack. Gonna be a walkout though. Be a double. It's a double walkout. They have got a got a Lazo card in here. Why not? Why not? Sol Campbell would be nice. Matt Hummels. Oh no, it's Gunda one. Got a beard. Two two guys with a beard. Um, as bad as you guys calling me Seamus. Was Gunda one a duplicate? Where would the Galazzo cards be at the back or back of the golds? Yeah, okay. But they can go, ooh, I accidentally, <laughs> sorry, it's accidentally discarded an 86. My fault. Right, 383 by 10s. Number one. Not a special card, so we'll skip it. Hey, these 83 by 10s have been bad for me. I can't even lie. We got Erdegaard from the first set of three that we did, and everything else was 85s and under. We've got 186 from that first one. It's going to be Kvarach Kalia from this one. 
and an inform and some 85s. Throwing them away because I'm, I'm so done. And then another 83 by 10. Damn. I'm actually going to be getting done, aren't I? Yeah. How bad were they for me? That was absolutely awful. All right, guys. <clears throat> 10 champs games to go. 10 champs games down. We've actually played 13 games now. I've had three, well, two guys that quit at a proper draw. 1-1 one, one and a 2-2. Two, two, and one guy that quit at kickoff at 0-0. Nil, nil. Um, but uh, we've got 10 more games to go before we get rewards. I was going to do rewards for today, but otherwise the video would just be extremely long. So I know you guys don't mind the long ones, but we're also going to have double, like extra, extra uploads, and, you know, instead of just twice a week or whatever, we'll do it every day. So we've got 10 player picks. The 81 pluses are now here to try and hopefully get ourselves something very, very nice for the end of the video to use into tomorrow's team. If we get any of the um, Golazo cards, I will most likely put them into tomorrow's team. I'm very tempted to just use like a few of the Golazo cards anyway, whilst we're uh, finishing off weekend league for this weekend but i'm also quite enjoying the full arsenal team at the moment collar's now going to be out of the team Had his fill I, I actually thoroughly enjoyed him what i might do is go and get that damn nice 87 inform go and get that uh rafael marquez spc and uh use him tomorrow instead of Collier. uh potentially anyway we'll see but uh can we get anything of any note to end off today's video it's not looking promising with two player picks to go Again, 83 Sergio Biscuits. And last but not least, nothing else there. So that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.